The crayfish makes a great pet. It comes in different sizes like the one inch dwarf crayfish and in some pretty cool colors like the electric blue crayfish. And if you picked up a crayfish of your own or are thinking about it, here's what you'll need to know. While the crayfish doesn't require a full on terrarium with branches and leaves, it's best to provide a crayfish with both an underwater and land environment. The easiest way to accomplish this is by shaping a sand substrate into a slope or piling rocks to reach the surface of the water. Every now and then, the crayfish will appreciate hanging out above the water level. Both sand and gravel are accepted by the crayfish and you're gonna want to include some hiding spaces as well. Natural decorations work best for the crayfish. Try to add some driftwood or rocks, but go easy if you decide to plant some plants. Crayfish are omnivorous, so they will eat any vegetation it can get its claws on. You can add a plant or two as a treat for your crayfish, but it's not recommended to keep a crayfish in a planted tank as they will uproot everything. When it comes to the tank meats of the crayfish, avoid bottom dwellers like loaches and African dwarf frogs. The crayfish are very aggressive and will eat anything it can catch. And don't get brave and think it won't happen to you. It's not worth the risk. Large aggressive fish can eat or harm your crayfish. Some people actually consider crayfish as feeder fish. The best tank meats would be middle and top level swimmers. Platys, tetras, and hatchet fish would work best. You can add other crayfish, but crayfish are extremely territorial, so add plenty of hiding spaces. They like to burrow, so if you see a hole in the substrate, don't disrupt it. When it comes to feeding your crayfish, I recommend sinking pellets and live worms. For the larger crayfish, night crawlers do best, and you can find these at local fishing shops. For the smaller crays, black worms work great. Again, they enjoy plants, so as a treat, you can plant some cheap aquatic plants. Just expect them to get messed up. If you're wondering if you have a male or a female, here's a diagram you can use, and breeding them is super easy. I've done it many times, and I would recommend you try it at least once. All you gotta do is place a male and a female together, and patiently wait until they mate. Keep an eye out as after about a week or two, you'll notice that the female has a cluster of crayfish underneath her tail. She'll constantly move them to keep them free of bacteria and after about two to three weeks, they'll detach and swim off on their own. You can then collect them to avoid them being eaten and place them in a breeder aquarium. But provide plenty, plenty, plenty of hiding spaces because they are really aggressive and will eat each other if one dies. I've found that chola wood works extremely well for baby crayfish, so be creative. And there you have it, your brief introduction to the crayfish. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down, you know what to do. If you have experience with the crayfish, feel free to leave some advice down below as well. Thanks for watching, my name is Gus.